Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm out here with Phil, Antonio, and we got Dougie in the back corner over here. And today folks, we're fishing the salt waters of Buzzards Bay. And the lure of choice today, the flexi jig. The flexi jig folks with the artificial baits. We're not running any live baits at all, eh guys? Not at all. All artificial today. You know, you don't need live bait or cut bait when the fish are on. It's a nice calm day. It's the perfect kind of day for these flexi jigs. And I've got a, uh, I've got an artificial crab uh, rigged on this one ounce flexi. I've got a T-turn on here with one of Big John Trembler flies. The reason I like that is if uh, you get a chance to catch two fish at a time, and sometimes a suspended fish, or if they're a little finicky, they'll hit the teaser. I love using the teaser rig. What do you got, Phil? Well, I plan to catch one fish at a time. <laughs> so I got my flexi jig here with the white twister tail. It's kind of my favorite uh, soft plastic. White's a good color, and you got the chartreuse head, chartreuse uh, one head. ounce flexi, flexi I've, jig. I've got the uh, black head, and Antonio's got a white. We got a variety of colors. What do you got? I've got a combination tube jig and twister tail together, and I also have a teaser because I want to catch two at a time. <laughs> <laughs> now, this we ran for cod the other day. And uh, what Antonio's done here is he's got a white tube jig and then he stuffed a twister tail inside the tube jig. Yep, and it kind of looks like a squid imitation, especially in the water. And uh, that's what they're feeding on, so I'm hoping to get more luck than you guys. Well, Good. let's see how these artificials do. We got a variety of baits. We're fishing in about, let's take a look here at the graph, 21 feet of water right now, and the water temperature is 63 degrees. So these fish should be active. It's a calm day though, and actually that's perfect for these flexi jigs because all we're gonna do, oh, I just had a little hit. All we're gonna do is jig these up and down and try to attract the, attract the bite and see if we can get into some fish. And with any luck, folks, we'll have ourselves a nice day out here, but just basically bouncing the jigs off the bottom. You could drag them as well if you want, and uh, that works also but I like to bounce them off the bottom. And all we're doing today, folks, is drifting. We're just at a spot and we're gonna drift, drift for a little while and see if we can get into some fish. And if we do, we'll go back up and give ourselves another drift. So stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to have a good time. We got the world's <laughs> smallest sea bass. <laughs> the squid rig worked. Oh, there's one there too. Thanks. I just got one. <laughs> the crab struck. The squid struck. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's a nice sea bass right there, folks. Catch release today? Yes, sir. Look at that bass. That's a nice sea bass right there. He took that crab. So, Phil, we're waiting for the we're waiting for the white twister. Yep. It's coming. Oh, that was a nice bass. Look at this. I'm all wrapped up here. I want to get my line back down there because you know what, folks? Where there's one, there's generally more. These fish like to, uh, like to school up. In fact, I'm just going to drop mine straight down. You guys are out there. I'm just going to drop it straight down and see if there's another one hanging out down there. That was a nice right. sea bass. Where's your line? I'm straight down, Dougie. Straight. Straight down, and I'm just jigging it up and letting it go back down again. Good one, Antonio. Yeah, not bad. As soon as I cast it, it bit it on the way down. The squid yeah. jig, Antonio. The squid jig. It's working. <laughs> it's working, is it? I like it. Oh, it's a big, big scup. scup. Big Holy. scup? Nice scup. A really big one. Oh, that's a keeper. Look yeah. at the size of that scup. Oh, that's, that's a nice. scup. That's a that's huge. huge. That's a huge scup. It's a record for me. Oh, wow. That is huge. Got to be 10 inches, Antonio, to keep. I'm pretty that's sure. <laughs> that's an Look at that hook set, though, eh? Yeah, right up, right up there. That's why I love those flexi jigs, right up the snow. Look at he's peeing on, he's peeing on Phil. <laughs> he's peeing. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, that was funny. You want to eat this? Oh, I just missed one. Oh, something pecking at it down there. There we go. Got one Antonio's on? Yep. That squid rig is hot. Get my crab down there again. Hmm. Sea bass? Sea bass. Small, small one. Now you got the white head on there, right? Yeah, the glow white. The glow white. Love it. I just made another cast out there. Phil, what happened to your fish? Yeah, it didn't hook him, actually. No? no. Small, something small? Something small, just nibbling. He probably just grabbed the tail, the back end of the tail. Oh, there's a hit, folks, right there. 
on the crab. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this, this. Oh, I absolutely love jigging. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. And it's not a big fish. Little sea bass. Hit the crab. And another nice hook set. That's the thing with these flexi jigs, folks. Because they flex down, it, the whole angle of the hook set changes when you go to set the hook and put a little pressure on. And that's why I love using these flexi jigs. Positive hook sets all the time. And now the, the reason we like to drift, we could anchor and just position ourselves out here, but if you drift, you're gonna cover, you're gonna cover more ground, you're gonna cover different bodies, you're gonna maybe get into different schools of fish, and maybe different variety of fish as you just seen there with, uh, with the one scup. So you never know what you're gonna get, and I absolutely love to drift. And we're still sitting here in 21, 21 feet of water. What happened to your jig, Phil? Tip my tail. He took my tail off. That's what I figured he did. Now that's the only problem when you use artificials. Uh, depending on the artificial, I mean, they can last you a while, or as you just saw there with Phil, sometimes uh, you have to change them up. But, but my crab seems to be holding out. Your squid's holding out, Antonio? Yeah, not bad. Something small, just kind of see if I can entice him into biting. Yes, I can yes, entice can. him into biting. <laughs> You can tell they're small though when they bite like that. The big ones just hit and they just thump, they grab it. But when they're smaller, that's how they bite. Oh, look at that, he took the teaser. Oh, and look at this, folks. I had did have something else biting. Look at that, my crab is gone. I have to put another one on. But I got a bass on the Big John teaser rig. Again, that's why I love putting the teaser on. And the thing with these T-turns, folks, they're absolutely perfect for any kind of teaser rig. They keep you tangle free, they avoid line twist, I absolutely love them, and I need another crab. I'm gonna try this uh, kind of whitish crab and see how this one works. The last one I had was a green crab. Slide it right up the jig. There we go. What I like to do, folks, with these flexi jigs, they've got a nice holder on there for your plastic baits. And you could actually thread it right on as, I, as I'm doing here. And uh, boy, does it really grip. It grips really hard. So I'm going to try this color crayfish or uh, crab. Yeah, let me get it out there, Dougie. Nice little cast. I'm running, um, I'm running 30 pound braided line right now. And, uh, and I've got a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader that I used a uni knot to tie. Uh, to tie my uh, my leader line on. Oh, I like using the uni knot. Oh, Antonio's got one. <laughs> I like using the uni knot because it's easy to tie and it's a nice little low profile knot and it goes through the eyes really nicely. And uh, when it comes to running braid, you feel absolutely everything. Nice. There's a nice fish right there, folks. You can feel everything. But with the fluorocarbon leader, braid fish will see the braid if they're uh, a little bit tentative they'll see the braid and uh, and they won't hit but with the fluorocarbon leader you got a much much better chance so I love using braided line but anytime I do I run a fluorocarbon leader and I, I, I like to make my leaders long 10 12 15 feet long because if I have to retie uh, I don't have to continuously tie on a leader line I just uh, I got lots of line to play with and they also the fish don't uh, don't see the lure either. So, nice long leader line is the way to go. He's fighting. This one's fighting a little bit differently. Oh, I got one too. You got one too? I don't know. Oh, it, oh it's just a sea bass. But he's, he's fighting strong. You got a real sea bass. You got a sea bass? I think I do too. He's just feeling the drag out here, folks. <laughs> this is unbelievable fishing. <laughs> what do you think, Doug? Oh, oh, this is a nice sea bass, folks. This is a good one. I might actually need to net this one. Oh, let me get the net. Can you hand me the net, Dougie? Yeah. It's a decent one, folks. Oh, yeah, he took the crab. Yeah. Wow, oh, yeah. That's a, good That's a nice sea bass right there. Another one. You got another one, Antonio? Antonio. <laughs> Double header, folks. <laughs> There's 
Oh, there's a decent sea bass right there, folks. It's a double header. Double header. Double hits. That's the reason why you put the the trembler on. Wow. There you go. The only bad part is you got to deal with the boat. <laughs> oh. What a nice one fish this one is too. You got a big one on the bottom? Big one on the bottom, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. Put him back. Oh, what a nice fish. And my crab is no worse for wear. And good to go for another fish. What a riot. This one's fighting a little bit differently too. Antonio, you're yeah. re-rigging? Yeah, it's sitting up different. What are you doing? Putting a different colored teaser on. Oh yeah. Oh, I got it. I got a two tag. I got a tog, folks. Look at that. They do love crabs, as a matter of fact. They got to be 16 inches. I don't think this one's going to measure. Oh, they got teeth on them. I'm not putting my hand near that mouth. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You'd like that, eh, Doug? Well, I love it on film. <laughs> the white twister finally came to life, eh? It did. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Yeah? Good fish. Yeah, it is actually. Oh, yes. Up now. Oh, yeah. Actually, oh, that's a nice wow. sea bass. Antonio, you're going to net them? I'm uh, rebating up over here. Here, I'll hand you a net. Perfect. Here's your net right here. <laughs> here, I'll land them here. Good, because I just had a bite. Oh, there we go. look at that. Oh, nice. oh, look at that bass right there. That's a nice one, Phil. Yeah. The white twister comes to life. Let's take a blow. That's a nice fish. <laughs> nice flexi jig hook set there, too, Phil. Yep. Beautiful. Look at that. That's a dandy fish. That was worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> Catch and release. Gotta love that. Look, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Double header, guys. <laughs> we'll see if this new crab of mine works. We'll get a triple header going here. I'm fishing the back of the boat. You guys fishing the front of the boat. You got a scuppy. Sea bass. Yeah. The white twister came to life. He did. He came to life. See if this new crab of mine will come to life. Oh, there's one. Something's just nipping at it. Yep, the new crab came to life too. <laughs> this is a, oh boy, this Something feels smaller. Small. Maybe it's another scup. Yep. Oh, look at this. It's a sea robin. <laughs> Mr. Sea Robin, the ugly fish of the sea. Now, these fish here, folks, if you've never seen them, They've got spines all over here on their all on their head. They're very prehistoric, and uh, you got to be careful how you take them off. I like to just pinch them underneath here, on the underside, because they're they're smooth under here, and you won't get uh, you won't get pinched. You can also lip lock them because they don't really have they don't There's really one. have teeth. There, the white twister is hit. Just playing with it. Hey, okay. just playing with it. Really? <laughs> well, folks, I don't know what to tell you. We're going to have an absolute beautiful day out here today. And you know what? Fishing salt water, it's just so much fun. The fish are so much stronger. They're that much more aggressive. And uh, if you like to jig, as I do, get yourself some jigs. Get some nice artificial baits. You know, you can even get scented artificial baits if you want. We're not using scented today, but uh, sometimes when the, the fishing's a little tougher, Scented artificials uh, work really well, but uh, for today it looks like just straight artificials are working. And the other thing I like to do, folks, when that, before I reel in, I like to jig it on the way in. Just jig it up, let it pause down, jig it up, let it pause down. Oh, because sometimes you get, you get a hit on the way up, as opposed to just reeling it in. So, folks, you get an opportunity, come on out to Buzzards Bay fish some salt water, do some jigging, and have some fun. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. And if you're interested in the flexi jigs, I know they're relatively new, and if you can't find them, I'll put a link in the description for you. But as always, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in <clears throat> to today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. We really appreciate our viewers. We love our subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. We always welcome new subscribers, and we got a lot more fish catching action coming your way. So as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Wow. <laughs> what a fight on this Jack Crevel. Look at that. <laughs>